Hey everybody, Jazz Samurai here. This time with a kind of guitar of the day, though maybe it's brand of the day because I'm going to be talking about several guitars from this manufacturer. And the manufacturer is Tesco. And this, of course, is the one guitar I think in my collection that anybody sees it and they go, what the hell is that? It's, uh, well, it's a Tesco EV52T. It's a guitar with kind of effects in it. The problem is right now I don't have the effects working because it takes a battery and here's something you probably didn't know. When this guitar was made in 1967, the connectors for nine volt batteries were slightly different. So what I need to do is clip out the connector, the original connector that's still in here and replace it with a modern nine volt battery clip connector and then I can see if these electronics work. I've had the guitar for a few years, to be honest, and I just haven't gotten around to it. I bought it mostly because it looks so cool. Uh, it's very rare. There's only 500 or so of these that were made. Made in 1967, as I said. And this was made right at the end of Tesco's independent period. Uh, in 1967, they were bought by Kawai known for um, pianos mostly. And uh, when Kawhi bought them, they said, no, we're not gonna have a guitar like this. Too expensive to make, not the direction they wanna go in. They wanted to kind of go to budget. And uh, this was kind of the start of Tesco's dream to become a high-end guitar maker. So it was quashed. <laughs> Cool looking guitar. To be honest, it plays really nice. The neck on it is really nice. It's a bit wide. It's a bit of a stretch for me. And I have fairly large hands to do that kind of stretch that I would normally quite easily be able to do. So yeah, it's a big guitar. Um, And uh, it's got a tremolo, which I hate, of course, as you might know. Um, so let's take a look at it. Uh, it's got, I'm gonna prop it up like this so we can take a, a seat together. So we've got a battery on and off. Like I say, the battery is not working. I'm just gonna check and make sure that this is actually recording. It seems to be. Okay. So we've got a battery on and off. And if I turn it on. It does still make sound. Um, and it has effect or normal. Now the effects are connected so that switches off the guitar. And uh, volume, the cool, it's like, you know, it's like the Enterprise and the original Star Trek. So this, it's a slider, my friends. A slider for the volume. And uh, then a tone knob. Probably the tone sounds better up there. And then we've got effects, which are labeled tone color. Not having the battery, God knows what they do. So um, I think if I turn it on to effects, yeah, dead. It's a shame. Um, so we can't tell what those things do. It's a two pickup model. Uh, rolling bridge, this uh, whammy bar, nice construction, kind of like a Mosrite uh, kind of style. Sorry, the light's a bit glary there. Uh, Mosrite style. Uh, like I say, there are only 500 of these made. This is the brown or burgundy. It's kind of a hollow body. Let me see. I have a page up. I haven't had this guitar out of the case in about a year and a half. These have different pickups than the other Tesco that are, you'll see in a second, that are square. These are round. These are more traditional looking, like a normal looking, if you want to call it that. It's a flat neck, very thin. The other Tescos are, are like Louisville Slugger's license too. 
There was another guitar called a Vamper that didn't have the funky electronics. So that's the other uh, Tisco like that. Oh, I see. It's like a... It actually plays quite nicely. <laughs> Even the heads, the, the back of the tuners, I don't know, it's not gonna focus on that. The back of the tuners have this nice little, nice little chrysanthemum pattern. So that's one of my Tesco's right there. I saw this for sale, how could I not buy it? It wasn't even expensive. So let's move on to the second one. Sorry, my hair's probably a mess. Uh, the second one is the EP. The EP two hundred T. This is a nice playing guitar. Neck's a bit thick for me. Uh, it's a bit unreliable. It's got these electronics. Uh, you can see the, they're rocker switches. The problem with these rocker switches is that over time they separate out and they don't make a strong connection. So yeah, the, the, this is all original. Again, this is, again, this is from 1967. Uh, yeah, square, if you can see, square uh, pole pieces on the pickup. Nice finish on this guitar. Kind of this antique violin that almost all of my guitars, as it keeps getting pointed out to me, look like. Um, Whammy bar. I found this for such a low price, it's really kind of embarrassing. All, all original like this. The only thing that's missing is a little plaque on the back of these that tells the model number. What a cool looking guitar. I have used this on some recordings. Of course, for all of these, I'll put links uh, in the description and as I'm talking about them, I'll put a card up uh, to some of the tunes that I've recorded with these. But let's move on to one last. It's this one. This is an EP17. I think this is a little bit later because it's, it's got round pole pieces. The neck on this. So that was, I guess, the neck pickup is the middle pickup. Yeah, this is the 17T. Again, I'm pretty sure that this one is from the late 60s. Is that making sound? I think the, the probably the neck, I say that about everything, the neck pickup is better. So, a little out of tune maybe.
Yeah. So let's talk about Tesco for a second. Founded in the 50s, started making guitars about mid 50s. Uh, kind of had their dream of being, I think, a proper guitar maker. Mm -hmm. um, and then Kawhi got a hold of them in 67 and changed that direction kind of to budget and also to marketing and to turn them into kind of a manufacturer. So these guitars were under so many names after uh, 67. Uh, before 67, they were known as Tesco and Kingston sometimes. That Kingston were an importer into the U.S., I believe. And uh, then they became known sometimes as Del Rey or even Tesco Del Rey or sometimes K, though the brand name K was used for different manufacturers. So some Ks are Tesco's and some Ks are not Tesco. Tesco Del Rey, funnily enough, also sometimes are actually not even Tesco. And there's a whole host of other ones in the US, Australia, and the UK. I'm going to list them all. Uh, Bass Beat, Bell Tone, Feather, Gem Tone, Kent, Kimberly, Lafayette, Matador, Mellow Tone, Melody, Orbit 4, Pearl, St. George, Silver Tone. Of course, that means that Silver Tone were, had many different manufacturers. Some of them were done by Tesco. Starway, Super Twin, Top Tone, and my favorite, Zimgar. I would buy a Zimgar guitar if I could find one. So, yeah, that's the story of Tesco. And then, uh, you know, they went on and phased out and phased back in. And then they have the, the Del Rey was redone. And yeah, too confusing for me. Um, I bought all of these, uh, let's say, three to five years ago when I was just kind of wanting to buy some vintage Japanese guitars and build up my collection. And I didn't know what I was doing. And at that point, it was just quantity over quality. Um, but these are not bad. This one, again, I've tried, some of these you can't play them live because they feed back like monsters. But, um, you know, they, they don't play so bad. The neck for my style, you know. Um, I might do some with this guitar. I'd, I'd actually, what I did today is I said, so I, I had the EP200 out. And I said, I think I have a couple other Tesco guitars, actually. So I went through the cases, found the uh, 52T, and which I, I knew I had. Um, but this one, I actually don't even remember buying. So I can't tell you exactly when I bought it uh, or how much I paid for it. I would imagine it was quite cheap. Um, but there you go. Such is the life of a guitaraholic. Anyway, I hope you like this long rambling video. And uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and uh, I'll be, you'll be getting more videos from me for guitar playing, looking into my guitar collection, looking at other guitars. Uh, I keep looking over there because there's a truck stopped over there. So anyway, Jazz Samurai from Japan. Thanks for watching. See you soon.